this video, we'll look at the per-step editing capabilities of Groove Machine. Per-step editing is similar to automation, allowing you to create changes over time or switch controls on and off on a per-step basis. Groove Machine makes it easy to go through your sequence step-by-step step, and adjust each parameter for each part on every step. To get started, you need to know two things. What part is in focus and what step is active? Let's clear this groove and load up a few simple parts so we can see how it works. Select Reset Groove. Now let's load a bass drum part into drum part 1. Select Load Part. Now pick out which part you want to load and click Open. Now right click next to the drum parts to call up the note editor. Next, I'll copy and paste this a few times so that we have enough data to work with. To do this, click on the bar. Click Copy, then click where you want it to go, and click Paste. And repeat this a few more times to fill out all eight bars. Now, I'll add a quick bass part the same way. Select Bass Part 1 to put it in focus. Select Load Part. Pick out the bass part that you want, and then click Open. Now, right-click again to open the Note Editor, and copy and paste the new part into the empty bars. OK, let's liven up the bass drum. Click on drum part 1 to put it in focus. This way, whatever we change will affect that part. Notice that four of the buttons down here turned orange. This shows that there are bass drum hits on these steps, so we'll make our edits there. You can enter edit mode two ways. The first way is to click on the edit button. Now Groove Machine will stay in edit mode until we click on the button again. Click on the first orange button. See how it starts flashing? This tells us that step one is being edited. Now I can make adjustments to any parameter I want. So for this first step, I'll change the filter cutoff and the resonance, and I'll change the stereo pan. Now when I'm ready to edit the next step, which in this case is step five, I can click into step five and it starts flashing. This means that any adjustments will now be remembered by this step. And notice that the pan and filter controls went back to their original settings. Now I can make whatever changes I want for this step. One more thing, if you want to add a new note, like say on step 11, click once on that step to create a new note. Now if you click the same step again, you'll enter edit mode on that step. And you can tell this because it starts flashing. And if you click a third time, the note's removed. And when you're finished, click the Edit button again to exit Edit Mode. By the way, you'll only see the changes in the controls when you're in Edit Mode. The on-screen controls don't jump around during playback. Now, you can also drop in and out of Edit Mode using the Control key on your computer's keyboard, which is handy for making edits really quickly. To demonstrate this, I'll change up the equalizer settings on the synth part. Get the Equalizer tab in View, and then select Synth Part 1. And again, all the steps with notes in them turn orange. I'll press and hold the control key to drop into edit mode. Click the step I want and make the changes. And when I release the control key, Groove Machine drops back out of edit mode. So now I can drop into edit mode, make a change, and drop out on the fly. Here's an example of a finished groove that uses per-step editing to achieve some wild effects. For more great software, visit the ImageLine online shop. And for more great tutorials, visit StreamWorksAudio.com.